what is going on everybody welcome back to another episode of jeffrey gamer tutorials let's roll that intro Jeffrey Gamer is not responsible for your game files. All mods in this tutorial have been tested and work properly. I strongly advise you back up your files as shown in this video in case you make any mistakes. I also advise you watch the full video before installing any mods. Thanks. Enjoy the tutorial. Alright, what is going on to all of my beautiful, amazing viewers out there? Your boy Jeffrey Gamer here with another LSPDFR tutorial. And folks, we're dusting off an oldie. Uh, this is a love it or hate it mod to me. I think it's an essential mod, but that's just my opinion um, Like I said, this mod is a bit old But still works good and you're gonna get a lot of people that say uh, You don't really need it, but I still use it from time to time and uh, <clears throat> Maybe you will too <clears throat> Excuse me guys. Sorry about that This video is dedicated to uh, my boy, uh, JT, the Philly gamester, this one's for you, brother. Uh, this was a recommendation by him. Um, and what this is, is this is a police smart radio. Okay. And I'll, you know, discuss what it is and show you an in-game showcase as I always do guys. Um, so let's jump into this tutorial. Okay. First thing you're going to want to do, guys, is hit the link below that says Police Smart Radio, and that will bring you to this page right here, okay? Uh, last time uh, this was updated was March 1st, 2019, so not, you know, it's not super old, but the, uh, the you know, Elbow is the creator of it. Elbow's been kind of... Uh, not MIA, but he's kind of stalled out on updating his stuff. But like I said, it does still work. It doesn't cause any issues for my game. Um, so, uh, yeah. So let's go ahead and hit the download. Well, it's it's also got right here the requirements. Um, elbow uh, 1125, which we're going to download. And Traffic Policer. If you don't have Traffic Policer already in your game, um, this is a quick one. We'll just throw that one in there just to... Uh, because it's a requirement and I want to make sure you guys get everything you need so go ahead and click the download this file and did it go did it kick it did not there it goes you're gonna hit agree and download and what you're gonna want to select here is the 1.2.0.0 okay so it's gonna be the bottom one here uh, this is just the button template and this is the older version so you're gonna want to click the 1.2.0.0 and it's usually a quick download. Mine downloads down here. You can download it to a folder, desktop, um, or if yours downloads uh, right down here like mine does. As you all know, what I like to do is I like to open it, get rid of the little close me box or the little purchase me box, and minimize it so it saves it right down there for when we need it. Okay. Next, uh, click the elbow one one two five link that's down below, and I'm going to show you why we need this one. Okay. This is the version 6.6.4.0, okay? This is his latest um, version of the Elbow uh, 1125. Now, this is something that you need to run a lot of Elbow's mods. Um, so, this is going to be uh, your most current Elbow 1125. Again, it's going to download down here for me. Let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. And no, I'm not going to purchase you because you're still letting me go for free. And that's it for that. So we minimize that. And finally, click the Traffic Policer link. And that will bring you to this page right here. And as you all may or may not know, this is the Breathalyzer, Traffic Offenses, Speed Detection, and more. Um, go ahead and click Download this file. Agree and Download. And it'll tell you which one's the main file, which is right here. Uh, it's going to be Traffic Policer 6, uh, 16.0.0. Okay. So the main file. So we're going ahead and download that. And once again, guys, 
download it to wherever you like to put your downloads and these are all usually pretty quick downloads so let's go ahead and open this one up close and minimize and we are good with that and we can exit out of our web browser what well, only thing we're going to need here folks is our main directory and how to get to that is you are going to go to the disk drive that you have it installed in for me it's my c drive uh, this is for steam by the way uh, click program files now right here you might have epic or uh, i know it's a little different way of doing epic i don't know how to install games through epics uh, but my boy criminal justice um, he's got tutorials on epic and uh, he's linked right down below so check if you're an epic player this won't work for you um, it's similar but not similar but not the same okay um, just go check out my boy criminal justice if you're not already subscribed to him uh, for steam users just click steam steam apps and common folks right here is where you're going to want to save you're going to want to back up your file in case you do something wrong whatever file that you are going to install this into just left click it once right click it copy go down here left click right click paste takes about 15 20 minutes but you're going to back up your game and it's going to save you time if you do something wrong guys okay please take time to back up your game file whenever you can i back mine up now very frequently if i add one or two mods i back it up okay if i see that the mods work i back it up i just always because you never know when you're going to make that one mistake that's going to ruin your file okay so just double click the file that you're going to put it in. And here we are. As you can see, I already have the elbow1125.com in folder, um, which you don't need for uh, these for these mods that we're doing. Okay, we're going to need this elbow1125.com.dll. Uh, now, first thing we are going to install. Go ahead and bring up your Police Smart Radio WinRAR. Okay. Whoops, that's not what I wanted. That's the web address down here is what I wanted okay so I'm gonna bring up my police smart radio let me bring this up just a tad okay so we got our WinRAR we got our main directory right here guys make sure your main directory is pulled out a little bit so you got this little buffer zone right here see how nothing highlights guys you do not want I'm gonna show you something okay do not follow what I'm doing if I take this file and I bring it over here to this buffer zone is what I call it or even over here above these you know the ASI loader and the D3D you know it won't highlight but if you come up here and you start to see those highlight if you drop those in there you're gonna ruin it guy you're gonna ruin your stuff don't do that okay you always want to leave this little bit of space right here between your scroll bar and your file sizes okay right here because nothing will highlight you see you got that buffer zone nothing highlights but if I move over it'll highlight so okay all right so uh, just stretch your window out a little bit so go ahead in your WinRAR double click the police smart radio okay and it's going to bring up your API reference, developers, um, documentation and licensing, which is the README and all that. And what we're going to want to click is the Grand Theft Auto 5 folder right here. And all we have right here, folks, are these two files, okay? Now, you do not need this one here. And I'll show you why. I will install this one, but you don't have to install this, okay? this is an older version all right we have the newer version right here that we downloaded okay so i'm going to highlight these two all you need to highlight is the plugins folder bring it down here to your buffer zone and let her rip tater chip all right now it's going to overwrite because i already have it yep let's go ahead and do that and we are going to go into the ini file of the police smart radio um and maybe the traffic policer just to show you guys real quick on what it does now here is a tip on how okay let me just double check this okay yeah so in, if you wanted to remove this mod police smart radio it's a pain in the ass guys it really is that's why I said back up your game file before uh, you do it okay it's a lot easier to just delete this one if you do something wrong or if you don't want police smart radio police smart radio works great it's a great mod i'll show it to you in the game so i don't see why you wouldn't want it but if something goes wrong and you don't want it anymore or you installed something wrong to go into your plugins 
and to start removing you know what you want to do is uh, you got plugins here you got plugins here you're just gonna follow these pathways LSPDFR here LSPDFR here uh, police smart radio here uh, police smart radio here you would delete this whole folder okay you would delete this whole folder and it would get rid of all of the police smart radio audios and all that okay and um, vocal dispatch because it does work through vocal dispatch um, but if you got vocal dispatch and you want to keep vocal dispatch but get rid of it out of here that's why I'm saying guys back up your file or just keep the police smart radio in like I said I never had any issues with it so um, you know hopefully you don't okay so we are all set with the police smart radio we can go ahead and exit out of our WinRAR and real quick before we get into the other ones let's just click double click plugins double click LSPDFR and if you go right here nope it is up here go to your police smart radio folder and go to config and it's got all of your configs right here it's got your controller config um, so if you do play controller uh, you know you're going to uh, if you have ELS and all of that honestly the only thing you're gonna want in here is if you use a controller you're gonna want to change this to capital A okay you are going to want to highlight this none copy it and put it right here in your d-pad left and paste it okay you don't want to bring up your button uh, your game your police smart radio with that left button because that left button is linked up to your ELS and other things if you don't run ELS keep that the way it is and that's fine really the only thing you need here if you're running ELS in that is d-pad up d-pad down and select button A and make sure you go up there and you save it okay uh, display config that just you know if if you know how to you know work with the X and the Y and all that it just repositions the radio but it's usually down at the bottom right hand corner uh, that's usually not an issue general config uh, as you see it just has like play animations play radio button sounds I like to put mine to false oops come on come on Jeffrey gamer um, I like to put mine to false because the noise isn't uh, isn't needed I don't think that needs to be capital I like to I like to copy them the exact way that he's got it there so if you change yours make sure you save it okay and then keyboard config um, I put mine on because uh, everybody knows C is to look behind you I put mine on the I button okay so if I want to bring up my police smart radio I just hit the I button and boom my little police smart radio shows up and you can toggle through it with the controller or uh, as you see the previous button I don't use these because I use controller so um, the left the right that's how you you uh, navigate through your radio so you know play with those see which one fits you the best and don't forget to hit save okay and that is it we're not going to worry about the panic one right now so let's go ahead and go back to our main directory which is right here you hit the little refresh button it makes everything nice nice all right guys let's go to the next one that is going to be the elbow 1125 and <clears throat> I didn't tell you to install the first one because it's old and what you want to do is double click that go to Grand Theft Auto 5 and there it is right there guys it's as simple as this you're just gonna drag it right here and you are going to drop it in it's gonna tell me that I have it and if I hit compare info for both files the one that's already in here was from uh, February 25th 2019 the one that is in the WinRAR that we're dealing with right now is from March 7 2019 so it's a couple of weeks newer than this one so we're going to go ahead and select files from Grand Theft Auto 5 which is this folder and we're going to continue and it's going to put it in there and you now have the most recent elbow 1125 and this might if you're having other issues with some of your mods this might fix it if they're elbow mods because 
They're, the mods run best off of the most recent elbow1125.com and .dll file, okay? So we go ahead and exit out of the uh, WinRAR file. And lastly, let's bring up the arrest or the traffic policer. I've been saying arrest manager. Traffic policer, okay, guys? Now this one, the INI files, there's a lot in there to change, so I am not going to drop it. I will still jump into the INI with you real quick just to give you a quick rundown of it. Um, but... I don't want to have to change all my crap, you know, the other ones were easy. So, uh, double click the traffic policer 6.16.0.0. And again, all of elbows mods always look the same. You're going to click the Grand Theft Auto five. And here we go. Now, if you have any Bajojo mods or anything, okay. And you, if you have any of his mods, chances are you already have a rage native ui.dll okay you see i got mine right here check it okay one thing you want to do is take this rage native left click it drag it over here to your buffer zone and let it go compare info for both files okay click that now the file on the left is usually the the one that you just dragged in now as you can see the one from this traffic police or WinRAR is from December 31st of 2017. The one I already have in my game is 6-29-2020. <laughs> like I said, if you have any Bajojo mods or Grammar Police, this is where I got the most recent one. It's from Grammar Police, um, and this is the most recent Rage Native UI. So if you don't have Rage Native UI, go ahead and drop this in. Um, if you already have it, drop it in and hit the compare button so you can see. The one on the left is the one, is your new one that you're putting in. The one on the right is the one that you already have. Just compare the two dates. Okay. If the one you already have is newer, then just X out of this, X out of this, and we're not going to bring that in. This elbow, 1125, we are not going to pull that in. Okay, guys. All you're going to need to do, because we just installed this and it's the most recent one, so we don't need these two files okay if you already have these two files check them and you know chances are you won't need them okay so here we are in our main directory still you're going to hit control and you're going to select plugins and lspdfr left click it once drag it to the buffer zone here make sure nothing's highlighted and let it go like i said i am not going to let mine go uh because i don't want to have to change my i and i and once that is in go ahead and hit your uh, X button, you can get out of that WinRAR. And let's go ahead and click double click plugins, double click LSPDFR. And here's our arrest manager INI right here, guys. If you double click that, this is going to have uh, all of your stuff that is in arrest manager. Um, it's got your, uh, I mean, you could read through it, the automatic uh, door shut. Um, determines if transport officers speak, uh, you know, this is what I have. Yours probably looks different than mine because I've changed all mine. Um, and you could just go through it. I mean, it's really nothing, uh, you know, super, super difficult. Um, it, it, you just got to go through it. And I, you know, for the sake of time, you know, I don't want to sit here and go through every single thing. Uh, but you know, erase, you know, place arrested pads you grab in the back of a vehicle, the key button G. Um, so it's all right there. If you change anything, don't forget to hit file and hit save. And I'm not sure. Yeah. So yeah, there's really nothing you need to worry about in the arrest manager folder, just inside this arrest manager I and I, and we are all set with that. Hit your little refresh button. We can exit out of there and guys, let's shoot into the game. All right, everybody. So here we are in the game. And let's just go through what you're going to see when you first start your LSPDFR after installing Police Smart Radio and Traffic Policer. Um, and also, if you have Stop the Ped, Ultimate Backup, um, a lot of Bajojo's mods link up with Police Smart Radio. Police Smart Radio recognizes that these mods uh, utilize ambulances and coroners and tow trucks. So, Police Smart Radio links up to those. So, when you first start your LSPDFR, you're not going to see anything at first. 
when you go on duty you're going to have this elbow black box with white text in it pop up on your screen i already have police smart radio installed that's why i can't show you right now but i could tell you what it's going to do okay it is going to tell you that new buttons have been added to your police smart radio because now we have the traffic policer and if you have a jojo mods or if you get them in the future it's going to do the same thing okay guys what it's going to say is new buttons have been added to police smart radio press one to add these buttons and it's going to keep telling you to press one now after you pressed one for the first series it is going to take you off duty okay and it will have those buttons installed then when you go back on duty it might come up again depending on if you have the bajojo mods and other mods that link up to your police smart radio um two to three times depending on what you have it's going to bring up that black box and each time you're going to have to hit the one key to install the new buttons on police smart radio and then it'll take you off duty and it'll just be that cycle until all of your mods are linked up with police smart radio like I said, I don't think there's no more than three or four out there, so at the most you'll have to do it like four times, but it's a one-time thing. Once you do it your first time signing, uh, going on duty, uh, you won't have to do it when you play your game throughout the future. It's just that one time, guys, so don't worry about that. I'm trying to rush through this. I'm trying to be like Captain Horn. Man, listen, Captain Horn 23, this kid is amazing. He's talented. The stuff this kid does, man, um, definitely check him out. He's got some amazing tutorials, guys, that... I swear to God, it looks like he's paid to make these tutorials. They're absolutely amazing, just super professional looking. Uh, uh, I aspire to have my tutorials be like his, but gosh dang, I talk too much. So definitely check him out, man. Uh, Captain Horn 23, he's linked below. Uh, awesome, awesome dude, man. So let's go ahead. Now remember, I changed mine to the I button, okay? So if I hit my I button, it brings up your police smart radio right down there in the bottom right hand corner and you can click down and if you get all the way to the end right here and you click down again it'll bring you back to the top why I tell you that because if you go down and you're like oh man I went past the insurance if you click up what is it gonna do it's gonna bring up that annoying ass cell phone that we never never use in LSPDFR and if anybody knows a mod on how to get rid of it let me know I would love to get rid of this damn cell phone but you can still select out of this the only thing is is if you do that it is going to uh select whatever you select in your phone Backup then you can just back out of it Mirror so Park. what i do is you know i'll just use my down button and if i pass something and i want to go back to it i'll just go down and then just you know go to it but here's all your buttons you got your tow service you got your insurance you got your female unit um and all these things that uh will come in handy during your patrol. There's our female unit. Uh, you got your fire department. Fire um, they're, they're all there, guys. Your ambulance, uh, your insurance company. Uh, it's just, it's all right there, folks. Um, I hope I covered everything. Like I said, once you go through that black box with the white text inside of it, the elbow box, just keep hitting the one button. It's gonna set, It's gonna take you off duty. Go back on duty, hit the one button again until it's all done. It might kick you out of your game, when it's all done, it has done that for me in the past. Don't worry about it. Restart your game and you're good to go and everything will be uh, installed and programmed and ready for your patrol, guys. Um, also, link down below. Check out all my other YouTube brothers and sisters. Uh, my man, Criminal Justice, Cookies and Cream, Pineapple. Uh, don't be a stranger whose music was playing during the beginning of this tutorial. Um, kids amazing and my wife my my talented beautiful wife who now uh, has a channel it's only got one video on there right now but there will be a lot more being added throughout the week by yours truly uh, she paints and she paints instruments ukuleles and violins and drums and all sorts of stuff so definitely check her out show her some Jeffrey Gamer love um, and subscribe to her channel and uh, you won't regret it. Some some real cool paintings that you're going to be seeing going up there. And my sister, Erica81, uh, her Twitch account is down below. Uh, she's a she's a lady gamer, and she streams all sorts of stuff. Uh, go follow her. Show her some love. And, um, yeah, I think that is it, guys. I hope I covered everything. Um, uh, JT, this was for you, brother. 
And for anybody that needs Police Smart Radio, uh, I appreciate the suggestion by you, my man. Um, and I just appreciate you so much. Um, all of my subscribers, I love you guys. We are currently at 387 subscribers. And, man, I'm so stoked about that. And I'm thinking I might skip the 400 subscriber giveaway and give out a bigger prize on the big 500 subscriber giveaway, guys, because we will be there. And we'll be there soon, guys. So that's what I'm thinking. Not really sure yet. Let me know what you think. I already got a couple of feedback from some people that said, yeah, do that and and get a great big prize. You know, not a huge, huge prize, not $500, you know, but a really cool, trust me, trust me, it'll be a great prize at 500 if we skip the 400 one. Okay, guys, um, that is it. Uh, with that being said, stay safe, stay healthy, follow the rules and obey the law. And stay positive. Stay positive, guys. We need positivity in our lives nowadays. And um, that's that's all we can ask for, right? Until next time, guys. Your boy Jeffrey Gamer is out. <laughs>